Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph uh, this equation. And to do that, what we need to, uh, I'm sorry, graph the equation. We need to want to write the equation um, of this ellipse. So they give us there our two foci. And that's very important because one, when they give us the two foci, that tells us at least is our major axis horizontal or vertical, as well as now we can also determine what exactly the center is. So let's go and plot the information. They also gave us our y-intercept, which is that negative 3, 3, which is a point on the circle which will come in handy. So when graphing the foci, which is at negative 2, 0, and positive 2, 0. So there's my two foci. So therefore, I know the center has to be in between them. And then I also know that my horizontal, uh, or my major axis, is going to be horizontal. And remember, <clears throat> the major axis uh, contains the center, the foci, as well as the vertices. And we're going to need to know what the vertices are, um, as well as the covertices in this case. So now, let's, since we have a horizontal axis, um, let's go ahead and a y-intercept, which is at negative 3, negative 1, 2, 3, positive 3. Oh, y intercepts is at zero. Oh, I'm sorry, I wrote that wrong. Zero comma negative three, and at zero positive three. One two three, negative three. One two three. All right, that makes sense. Okay, so that's where we're gonna the graph is gonna cross now. Uh, okay, I I understand that. So let's go and write the equation. So it's x minus h squared um, plus y minus k squared. And then since we have a major axis, we have a squared under the x and b squared under the y equals 1. Now, again, in this case, our center is 0, 0, right? So our center is in the form of h comma k, which in this case is 0 comma 0. So that's cool. We can get rid of the x and the h. Now, a is the distance from, a is the distance from our center to our vertices, which we do not have. B is the distance from our center to our covertices, which we can say, well, since this graph is going to cross up here, remember that the if the major axis is horizontal, the minor axis is vertical. They're going to be perpendicular to each other. So therefore, these two y-intercepts um, <clears throat> are going to be are perpendicular to the horizontal axis. Therefore, these are our two covertices. And the distance is 1, 2, 3. So the distance from our center to our covertices is 3. So therefore, we can say B is equal to 3. All right, so now we just need to determine what a is. Now, again, we don't have h, x and h, so we have x squared plus y squared divided by a squared divided by 9 equals 1. Now, we do know, though, the distance. So that distance is b, where the distance from the center to the foci is c, which is 1, 2. And it's an absolute distance, OK? Um, so c is 2, b is 3. Now, when we're dealing with uh, ellipses, there is a relationship between a, b, and c. And that relationship is c squared equals a squared minus b squared. So we know c squared, which is 2 squared equals a squared, which we do not know, minus 3 squared. So 2 squared is 4 equals a squared um, minus 9. Add 9 to both sides. 13 equals a squared. So therefore, I can now just plug in 13 in for a squared. And now I have my equation of my ellipse. Thanks.